Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies and in this video let me explain Excel export in .NET Core Web EPA using closed XML library and also it includes below scenarios generating Excel with dynamic data and generating Excel with multiple sheets and also applying some font customization. Now let me go to my application. Okay, this is my created .NET Core application. The application version is .NET 7. So if you are using .NET 6 also, you have to follow the same procedure. Okay. Here the first step is we have to install the package through the NuGet packages. Close to XML. And this is our package. We can install the latest version. Okay, great. The installation gets completed. For the implementation, I'm going to use the same customer controller. Here, I'm going to create one new action result function. Export Excel. Okay. And it is the get method. Okay, this is fine. And the next thing is we need on data. So I'm going to use the SQL server tables. See the table employee table I'm going to use okay and for the connectivity i am using the entity framework so already i have done the configuration so i am going to reuse the same thing so first we can create one more function for getting the data and i need the data in the data table format get m data data table and here i have to include the namespaces System.data, okay. This one is not required. And the first table name. Finally, I'm going to return this. And here we can include all the columns one by one. DT dot columns dot add and the column name the code then the type okay integer the same way I'm going to include three more columns name email phone and the final one is destination and the data type I'm going to provide a string next we can get the data from our SQL server so we have the database context that our table name table employees we can just convert into list okay if count is more than zero I'm going to generate the for loop and here we can include the rows dt dot rows we can add one by one the first one is code and the second one is name and the third one is email then fourth one is phone number and the final is the destination okay okay now our data is ready now let me move on our actual function so here I am going to declare our Excel workbook. Excel workbook. And here we can include the worksheet. Add worksheet. So it is having uh, two inputs. The first one is our data. So the data is our employee data okay so let me get it from here
and our excel sheet name so in case if you are not providing custom sheet name so the table name will be added as our sheet name okay okay now our excel book is ready next i am going to convert this into stream finally we can write as the excel file okay So finally, I am going to return this as the file, okay? So it is having three inputs. The first one is our byte array. So we can say ms.2 array. And the next our content type. And finally, our Excel sheet name, okay? excel sx okay let me run this application we can verify whether it is working or not after that we can include the next sheet and also applying the custom fonts okay and this is the non-action method so otherwise it will create the exception in our swagger so let me run this one So export Excel, let me execute this one. So return type is file. So we have this download file option. See the data. So I'm having this uh, fire records so that everything is added here. Okay. And you see the Excel sheet name that also employee records it's coming. So the next thing is I'm going to include one more sheet. In the second sheet, I am going to fill the data of customer. So the form quality is almost the same. It's not going to take much time. So instead of table imply, I'm going to use this table customers. And the first field is ID. And the next field is name and email is fine. So let me verify the other fields. Name, email, phone. And the final one is the credit limit okay up to the phone is fine the final one is the credit limit okay and here also we can change this one and the type is integer and the next in our actual method so instead of this employee data i can do like customer data and get customer data okay and the sheet name okay customer data and finally I am going to add as the new worksheet the customer data and the sheet name I am not going to provide so it will take from our table name okay so that's what my expectation so let me run this one we can verify see we have the first sheet in our second sheet see the sheet name is customer data so basically it is coming from our table name okay and see the data also so the customer having only three records only so that's what it is coming like this so if required we can verify also okay it is having the three records only so the next thing is i am going to apply some customization about the fonts so for that we need to know how to access this element the row wise and the column wise in the particular cell so let me cover one by one for the sample i am just considering our first sheet so here i am declaring one object also sheet one 
and here I am going to take the first column so in this first column I am going to change the color ok so style dot font and font color equal to excel color dot red so let me run this one So the first column completely in the red color okay and the next thing is I have to access the next two columns instead of the first column I have to access the column number is 2 and 3 only or else 2 3 and 4 okay so for that let me go to my application I can command this one maybe for the future purpose we can use so instead of the column you have to use the columns and the range we can give 2 to 4 and the color I am going to provide blue so let me run this one Okay, see the output so the first column we already added the color as red and second third fourth columns are color is blue okay so the similar way I am trying to access the row so we can copy both items so instead of the column we can use row okay so if you give row it will access the single row so if you want access multiple rows then you have to give like rows and I can give two three that is fine and instead of the font color we can change the background color for that uh, we have to use this fill option fill dot background color so the first column I'm going to provide black and others we can give gray as gray okay and in this first column we have to change the background I mean the text color otherwise it is not visible so let me run the application once again and we can verify So the first row background is changed into black and the second and the third the background is changed somewhat in the gray color okay and the next what I'm going to do I am having only five columns but this background color is applied for whole row okay so I have to update the background color for the used columns only so for that we have one more property was there so instead of adding like this we have to use like used cells cells used okay so then it can be applied for what are the cells we have the data there only our custom font is applied okay okay see now the background color is applied for only used columns okay and we have no property for setting this background color for limited cells and now my requirement is the first two columns okay I have to use the background color is yellow We 
can use cells for the single column we can use the cell so I'm going to use three columns okay then one two three see now the first two three columns background color is changed okay so in this way we have to access our excel rows and columns and individual cells okay so similar these colors and background color we have n number of uh, properties that we can use based on our requirement so before going to finish this video i'm going to apply some of the properties also and uh, let me command this one so we can use the same thing so let me consider my first row only and in this font we can have some other properties also bold i'm going to provide true and the shadow is true excel font underline values that a single line and vertical alignment vertical alignment values superscript and if you want to include some font name that also we can include using this font name property font name okay and the font size also we can change and I'm going to make this as the italic so the value is true only so let me run this one so the most of the properties are applied here because of the alignment only it is coming like this okay great now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching